so sorry to be gone for so long, but between work and just life, it was just too much to keep up with Tanya Tuesdays, but your girl is back. Now, this video is kind of an update, so I never told you guys why I left the ICU. Um, basically, it was because it was just too much for me as a new grad nurse like I feel like now I have a little bit more experience I probably could do it but just the fact that like it was the COVID unit completely back then and it was just so much death and like you had to support family members while we like literally turned off machines on people it was just overwhelming and I would literally get nightmares like the f I only did two days at that um unit and I was just like preceptoring and it was just way too much like the first night i worked i literally got nightmares like i had this dream this the first night i worked that like whew, all these like bugs um i had a dream that um basically um somebody had called the hospital and then like some we were like not supposed to give out whatever information the person was acting for us so i was like oh we're not supposed to say that right and then they were like no we can't say that and i was like okay so i hung up the phone then next thing you know hold on can we talk about the sunset this camera is probably not doing it any justice at all but just know it's beautiful but anyway so then the person calls back again and they're like oh um asking the same question and it was somebody else who answered a co-worker and then the co-worker was like um put the her hand over the mic and was like oh you can't um you can't we can't say that right and then everybody was like no 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 you can't say it so then um she was like sorry i can't say that and the person was like hi i heard you and hung up and then it turned into like this Grey's anatomy episode where like everybody was in this panic and basically um the person came to the hospital to try to kill us and basically we had to go into the body bags because that first day too i had put a lot of people in body bags and i guess my subconscious was just processing that at night so basically um i had to hide in the body bags from this mysterious person who is coming to kill us like that's literally the first day of work i'm like Yo, I don't think this is a good idea for me to be in this, um, for me to be in this unit. Like, maybe I should start off a little slower and go to med surge. So, basically, I did the kidney transplant. Um, if you guys, this is the first time you're watching me, I donated my kidney, um, for a family member. And that was after I did the residency program in the ICU. So, basically, during that time that I was off of the medical leave, I had to ask them to switch to med surge because ICU is just way too much for me personally. So that's pretty much why I switched. Yeah, so basically like the ICU was just too emotional and too like overwhelming for me now coming into like my first bedside job. So I switched to med surge and med surge is like a better fit for me as a new grad nurse. But at the same time, like I still feel like my idea of what I had like previously about what nursing meant and what you actually do as a nurse because again remember well if you're if you never watched my video before um, I graduated during a pandemic and majority of our clinicals were online so I didn't really have a good idea of what nurses actually did and I just felt like there was like you know more education involved or like you know actually really helping people get better and not really just you know passing meds and like you know doing wound changes and stuff like that like it's it's just i thought that it, it was a little more holistic than i guess it is because i feel like a day-to-day -day for me is pretty much like come in get report do like a quick assessment if even possible for all six patients and then pass meds then chart then pass more meds then troubleshoot so like if anybody needs a new iv because they pulled it out or anybody jumping out of bed anybody needs more pain meds anybody needs like whatever like all that troubleshooting then chart some more then um pass more meds change people and then give report and that's pretty much it like i don't know i guess i'm more like holistic than that because 
I would much prefer like help people in preventative medicine but I'm not going into no other degree don't get me wrong I'm like I'm still gonna use nursing to be a means for an end but honestly the way like nursing is right now with like being so understaffed and like all this running around and like you know it's just too much like and it just don't resonate with me anymore like it's just like you don't even get to give people the proper care to me like when you have so many patients and then like so on like I'm just speaking from my personal experience I'm sure this is not the case with all units but my unit is pretty understaffed like sometimes we only have we go down to one tech sometimes and it's like a 40 bed unit like that's really unacceptable so it's just overwhelming and I can't even like have a work-life balance right now um, at the moment but you guys know that my um, intention was always to go into travel nursing and retire from nursing early and that's still the plan y'all like but bear with me I'm gonna work on being um, getting back into a better schedule now that I'm kind of not used to but working you know the three twelves because it's not really 12 hours it's really 13 hours or more because I come early so that I can um, so that I can look up patients and write down my med pass and stuff so it's really more than 12 hour shifts but I'm kind of like adjusted and another update I'm actually going to have another position I'm going to do COVID testing on the side because as you guys know like Florida does not pay nursing nurses very well so I got another job because this year 2022 is all about the money okay like I got a financial counselor and your girl is getting right okay like literally getting right so I'm just pushing through I'm gonna get this um financial I've already got the financial counselor I'm gonna get this um COVID testing job that pays more than the bedside job that I have so the bedside job actually pays like 30 an hour so if I do overtime it will be 45 the COVID testing actually pays 45 so I'm gonna do the COVID testing instead of doing overtime at my job because overtime at my job is not even worth it anyway because it's just so overwhelming so so that's my update y'all thanks for watching this video i'll see you guys in my next one